Aha, uh -huh. hello, welcome back to Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. My name is Jin, and welcome to the series. A massive thank you to Patreon members and YouTube members, you guys rock. Last episode, we set in motion the building of a couple more level five buildings. And behind me, you can see Alyssa Jack putting the finishing touches on a warehouse level five. Oh no, wait, look, it looks like she's left something back at her builder's hut. So away she goes, so oh, okay, yeah. All right, now, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, she's coming back, yeah, okay, and she's gonna f Wait, what's she, what's she doing? Why, why is she jumping up and down? Oh my god, these builders. And there we go, it's finally level five. So let's jump in and take a look. Yeah, so like I said, I really want to get our town square that we have going on here all the way up to level five, because this is very much the focal point of our kingdom here. We've got a builder's hut level five, a tavern level three, because it doesn't go any higher. The warehouse is now level five, and the last thing on our list is gonna be the town hall up to level five. And once all of these buildings are completed, we can fully decorate this area as well. Get rid of this like ugly kind of hanging dirt, work on this staircase, get everything looking tickety-boo. Anyway, let's jump in and see what it looks like inside. So, where are we? Oh yeah, look, so they've replaced the floors now from wood to white and black concrete. Looks a bit like a kitchen, doesn't it? Got a lectern over here, I guess, to keep track of all the stock levels. And, of course, at level 5, you get a massive injection of extra storage. So there's racks galore down here, and if you go upstairs... It's racks galore times 2. Oh yeah, look how much capacity, it's loads. Oh, now this is a bit weird. I don't know if Alyssa kind of made a mistake, but one of these racks is a bit off-center. Yeah, well, never mind. Now there is, of course, a secret room over here ooh, with a gold-weighted pressure plate. And if we go upstairs, is there even more storage? Or is this... Oh, whoa, oh, oh my god, oh, oh, whoa. Hang on a sec now, what is this? The ender chest is here, and I guess this is fully functional. So we could use this as an ender chest. Um, maybe. Oh, and, and check this out, a rooftop garden as well. A great place to come and eat my gyros. Anyway, that's a quick tour of the level 5 warehouse, but what is new feature-wise with the buildings? Well, if we go over to settings, you can upgrade the storage with a block of emeralds. That sounds pretty freaking amazing. Now you can do this three times, and I think each time gives you one extra rack. So let's go and get some emeralds from our NPC villager farm. Now, as we make our way over there, if you look left, if you look right, you'll see ticker tape and construction tape everywhere because every single building now on the colony is set to be upgraded to at least level four. The only exceptions are the library and university are queued up to be level five, but uh, that's just for Alyssa to do when she runs out of work. But yeah, we're, we're doing a big overhaul of the colony. Absolutely everything is going to be level four. And we've got these amazing resource scrolls to keep tabs on our dudes. Now, wow, it looks like Alyssa is already 12% through the town hall. Any old thing is on a housing spree, which she'll uh, whip through no sweat. Booga Suga, of course, is working on our quarry underground. And Nuki is still stuck on Crappington. What's, what's the holdup, Nuki? So let's get ourselves some emeralds. We're looking for three blocks of emeralds. And if I check in my backpack, I've got 21. That doesn't, oh, 20 even. Doesn't quite get us three blocks. So we're gonna turn, ooh, what can we do? We could do books into emeralds? Yeah, four books. That's very cheap. So how many books have we got? Quite a few. Let's turn these into emeralds. Lovely stuff. So let's go and upgrade our storage. And what I want to do this episode is take the long way around, because you guys have seen me use these waystones to teleport all around the colony. But the problem with me doing that is, you guys at home don't really get to see a tour of the colony on foot. So we're going to be using the appropriate pathing to make our way all the way around the colony using some paths to get from A to B. So here we go. Oh, actually, it's a good chance for us to check up on Booga working on the quarry. Now, yeah, oh, it's a massive underground area that I can't wait to get finished. And Booger over here is going to hollow out this area to make it nice and big for our quarry. Now, you can see him on the mini-map over there, deep within the walls, because builders kind of teleport underground to start digging. 
So we'll leave him to it. He's doing fine, I hope. But yeah, once that gets completed, it's going to be amazing. So we'll continue our tunnel run through these tunnels all the way over to our warehouse. What's this? Oh, it's a Suna from DBZ, my favorite anime character. So yeah, these underground tunnels have all been kind of cleared out. There's a little bit to do here and there because some buildings put down a bit of mud. But it's okay, we can just dig it up and uh, worry about it later. Now, where am I? I think it's this way. Yeah, that way is to Industrial Valley. And this should be the cage. Yeah, there we go. And we're back at the warehouse. So yeah, the colony is easy to get around now. There's transport links everywhere. There's underground tunnels that are all kind of hooked up. But the other thing we're going to be doing this episode is building a create train. So stay tuned for that because I'm really excited to see how that works. So here we are, settings. Right, we need to turn these emeralds into blocks, which shouldn't be a problem. Emeraldinos, here we go. Three should do the job. So here we go, this button here. Boom, upgraded one of three. Okay. And now again, boom, upgraded one of three. And now again, boom, upgraded one of three. So we're max level now with maximum number of racks. Now where has this put the extra racks? I don't know. Ah, it looks like it's fixed this rack over here. So maybe that was what we needed to do. Oh man, it's filled up, filled up pretty quick, hasn't it? Anyway, what's also exciting now is we can hook all of these racks up to a storage similar to my home computer storage, like you see here. So there we go, the warehouse, level five, what a beaut, fully upgraded and fully finished. The town hall is well on the way. But yeah, it looks like in the clipboard we've managed to fulfill all of our colonist requirements. Kenjiro is always looking for ancient tomes, so we can ignore that. Chuckles is always looking for ore to smelt, so we can ignore that too. And Crimson always wants a bucket because we have kind of like a bucket rotation for milk and lava. Oh, wait, there goes the smell of lore. So what we can do now is give Caleb, whoever he is, oh, I think it's that guy there. There he is, speak of the devil, a chest plate. Well, he needs leather. I guess his guard tower is only like level one. So let's go and make that. Oh, in fact, why make anything if we can teach one of our colonists to do so instead? So over here to the Fletcher's hut to see my old friend, a Mixtarendo who is, I guess, having a bite to eat at the moment. Yeah, he's got boots, he's got hat, he's got pants, but no chest, so we'll fix that. So what I believe, oh, what happened there? So what I believe is, with a resource scroll, right, the builders are doing their job as long as you can see this, right, yeah? Booger is digging, Alyssa is building. Any old thing is also building a house. And Nuki is working on Crappington. And so long as none of them have a request in the clipboard, they're all good to go and they're slowly doing what they're supposed to do. The only real exception being Nuki now, because what I think has happened again is, yeah, the water underneath Crappington is giving him a real... Wait, Crappington is up there. That's not on the coast. There's no water in Crappington. So what's the holdup? Oh, oh, look at this. There's a massive holdup and it looks like the problem is... Wait, what is the problem? Is it the gate? So he's trying to upgrade the gate from wood to iron. Unfortunately, it's halfway open and these guys are giving him a terrible time. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig up the gate completely and give these guys a way to get through. Is this going to work? There we go. Oh yeah, mischief managed. Now what we can do is, uh, wait, hang on a sec. Let's take the iron gate out of his backpack. Boom. And we'll put it down ourselves for him. Because you know what? You can help a builder put down a gate. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Oh, oh, I see. So I see what's happening. He can't put down the gate because people are trying to push through it. And they're in the way. So we kind of have to dig it up again. Man, this is a real unfortunate thing, isn't it? But yeah, oh, there he is. What's he doing down here? Oh, he's sick. Oh, yeah, I guess most of those guys are sick because they've been stuck at the fortress for so long. Anyway, yeah. It's kind of good to go and check up on your builders from time to time because weird little bugs like this can happen. And when they do occur, that's when they need player intervention. Oh, now, obviously, I'm not going to make this game myself. Instead, I'm going to make somebody else make it for me. 
So post box and we're going to request some iron gates, please. There we go. And I think we want nine of these, right, for the build. Oh, wait, I only need six because I already have three. Well, never mind. You can never have too many gates. We'll need some for the new fortress anyway. Oh, Norbert. Norbert the Soldier Baron. That is a Patreon name. Whoops. Redstone we can afford. I got some in my backpack. And there we go. Any other civilians? Any other Patreons in here? We've already got Vitamu. We've got a Cosmic. Jensen. Uh, we've got any old thing, of course, even if we don't have a Stank. Oh, but hang on. We don't have an Ellie. So let's get an Ellie into the colony. Isn't that right, Sandman? Gold ingots we can afford, I think. Yeah, here we go. Backpack again. Welcome to the party, pal. In fact, yeah, so we're upgrading our houses. How much more housing do we have? 105. So we're at the max now. So we need to get more houses up and running. But every single one of our jobs is filled. Except, of course, Nether Miner, which we put on hold. Because, well, yeah, obvious reasons they keep dying. Eight unemployed. No pupils, because they're children. Maximum students at the university. And the archer and knight squires are also maxed up as well. And the clipboard is empty too, so I guess that means only one thing. It's train time. Oh yeah. So the same way we built our sugarcane farm, we're gonna build a create railway. And this is gonna go all the way around the colony, around the edge, to give us the maximum hookup. But if this works, maybe we could also design a subway system that also goes all the way through the colony and snakes around. That would be really cool too. But this is going to be what we're going to call the Sky Train, for any of you that have been to Vancouver. Ah, oh, amazing! Podzol has been researched. So, what are we going to need for our train system? Well, we're going to need a few of the things we had before, like a cart assembler. So, we're going to need my wrench for sure. Definitely some super glue. And some cart assemblers. So, luckily they're still up here in the top left. Which is great news. Cart assembler, logs, and a site redstone. No sweats. Now, because this is a passenger train and not a cargo train, we're also going to need some seats to sit on as it's going through. And I think one from Create is probably best. Uh, what colour seats do we want? Oh, you know what? I quite fancy making a pink train. So, we're also going to need some rail, which we might have to make ourselves, both powered and maybe some activator, maybe some detector rails. All kinds of rails are what we need. Rail, here we go. And we're also going to try using a controller rail, because one of the problems with our sugarcane farm was the fact that we had to use loads and loads of powered rails to get the minecart to move quick enough around the track when it didn't have the train on. But I think a controller rail might let you move a cart a bit quicker. And it's not too hard to make. Wait a minute. Electron tube? Polished rose quartz? Okay. Um, hmm. Oh no, we can use sandpaper to uh, turn rose quartz. Oh man, this is quite tricky, but I think we can do it. Yeah, here we go. Sandpaper polishing. How do we do this? Do we have to have the quartz in one hand and the paper in the other? And the, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, that's really cool. Pink diamonds. So rose quartz is a mix of nether quartz and redstone. Then we sandpaper this into rose polished rose quartz, like that. And cool, we need some more sandpaper though because it ran, ran out really quickly. And oh my god, 60 controller rails, that's gonna be more than enough. I hope, at least, man. Oof. So we've got cart assemblers, we've got super glue, we've got a seat, and we've got controller rails. Let's go and give this a test run. What up, pigs? Oh my god. Uh, and you know exactly where these pigs have come from. That's right. Down there is the pig farm. Oh my god. So that is one of the things about mine colonies. It does seem that like the farm animals do have a habit of escaping. And just to cut down on lag, we're going to cut down on pigs. There we go, a backpack full of bacon, but it's for the best. It's for the best. These guys do become a bit of a nuisance. And the problem really isn't like anything other than the fact that lots of animals means lots of lag sometimes. So you've got to be careful about that. So up we go to the top level of the skyscraper. And yeah, this is our train station. Now I didn't give you a proper look at this last time, but uh, I guess I didn't really think I needed to because it's very, very, very simple. Look at this. 
It's just a bunch of wood and a platform of smooth stone slabs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down two cart assemblers on top of powered rails. Excellent, perfectly middle. Now we're gonna need some regular rails. I've got 57 here, so we'll have to get some more later. But we're gonna just, yeah, plot these in between those two. And so yeah, the idea is the train's gonna come along here, go over to there, then go over to the courier skyscraper, then come around to the military rise, and then come all the way back around to here, creating a full loop. So here we go, the cart assembler, and we're gonna face that way. Now, for the sake of simple sake as well, we're gonna use the chassis block to connect everything up so we save on our super glue. Now this is a very ugly rough and ready design at the moment because basically I just want to test to see if this thing works first. Then once we know it works, we can start to think about what it actually looks like. So we kind of have the body of the train. Let's put a seat on top. So that's the train kind of structurally complete, but before we can give this thing a test drive, we're gonna have to give it some road to drive on. And that means going around the entire outside of the colony with uh, just some thin, just a thin to start with layer of planks with some rails on. Once we know it works, again, we can come back and decorate it. So I'll catch up with you guys in about half an hour once I've completed this train track. Okay, so the path has been created. I've just used oak planks at the moment to make this railway track. I haven't put down the rails yet, but I've got plenty in my pack to do that. And yeah, we make a stop over there in the corner behind the library. Then we continue over to Courier Tower, where there's another station. Then it curves around, goes underground beneath the military rise. And what I'm gonna do there is have an underground station that you can access from above. Then it comes out of the mountain over there, as you can see, climbs up again and comes back around here to this skyscraper tower. Now I haven't put down any rails yet, so I've got to go around and uh, lay this entire track. But it's not gonna be easy. Now also what I've got in my pack are these controller rails. And what I think I can do is put these with maybe some blocks of redstone underneath them for the maximum strength redstone signal to give our train a real boost around these tracks. Now maybe it'll be enough, maybe it won't, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a go because all I want to do at first is get enough to get one full lap around. Then when I've made a lap around the whole place, I'll come back and put the stations in and make it a bit neater. So let's try this out. What happens if we put, well, I guess we want one right next to the initial rail. So maybe here on the uh, on the edge. Oh, off it goes. Yeah, so a block of redstone here and then a controller rail. It's going that way and it's max strength. And I think what I'm roughly gonna do is, yeah, I think when we go uphill, like over there, we're gonna need a lot more power. So one just before that might help, but we'll see, right? Because as we ride the train, we'll see whether it requires more oomph or less oomph, so to speak. Oh uh, yeah, laying rails, very therapeutic. One of the things I enjoy most in Minecraft is just how monotonous and mindless it is. It's like grinding in an MMO or, uh, or something like that, man, yeah, and it just feels so good. Now, this thing is gonna be a beast. Also, you can kind of get a feel for as we're going along planting this rail, it's gonna be a great way to just take a, a look at the entire colony from pretty high above. I'm really excited to give this thing its first test drive. Man, yeah, so November looks to be a really exciting month for games and movies. I haven't seen Black Adam yet, but I've, I've, heard, I've heard good things, I've heard bad things. It's just a generic superhero movie, so you know, it is what it is. You get what you pay for, which is just a safe movie of a guy running around punching the bad guys. But I do love me some rock, so I can't wait to see him in action. But also, another game on the horizon is Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm always on the fence about COD games and Modern Warfare because it's a massive ripoff. Activision Blizzard are, well, you know, when it comes to COD games, 
They're a bit, they're a bit money grabbing and it kind of sucks, you know, there's a new COD every year and there doesn't need to be, right? They probably haven't even changed the engine or anything. But what they are doing is introducing Warzone 2, which is like a revamp of their Battle Royale. So, I mean, maybe it's worth it for that. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm on the fence. I might play it, I might not. Also, some dudes that I know have been talking about Marvel Snap. So, uh, yeah, I might check that out. But if you've played Marvel Snap, let me know in the comments section whether it's good. Oh man, look at that. I love seeing my shadow just move along in the background. Man, I love shaders. Now the underground section here is where it's going to get a little bit weird, it's going to get really dark and what I'm kind of thinking of is, once I come around to decorate this area, what I might do is build like an underground lit up aquarium. So if you've ever played a game called World of Warcraft, there is something in that, like a train in that called the Deep Run Tram and it goes between cities and uh, when you go between the dwarf city and the human city, there's like a giant underground ocean bit that's like coated in glass and it's like traveling through a glass tunnel and uh, what I might do is have something like that here with like a nice underground underwater scene that you can look at while you're going through this underground area. Now another thing to remember is this is not the latest version of Create. This is Minecraft 16.5 which, uh, well, 1.16.5, which means it's an older version of Create because they haven't updated Create for a long, long time on this version. So some of you guys have said, oh, the newest version of Create has trains, and yeah, you're absolutely right, but that's uh, for 1.18, maybe 1.19. But it's not this version, unfortunately. And there we go, it's hooked up at last. Now, we have a lot of rails spare, a lot of redstone, a lot of controller rails, so we'll see what we need when we need it. Now let's give this train a bit of a test run. So here we go, this is how create coupled trains work. You put two cart assemblers sharing an attached structure. Powering either of them will create a carriage contraption. So you have to power one and look at that, off it goes. The carts will behave like those connected via minecart coupling. Perfect, so that's all we have to do. We need a lever and some redstone to get that up and running. Let's give it a go. Now, let's see. I can probably reach this lever from the pink seat, so we're going to sit in here and... Can I get it? Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, countdown to launch in three, two, one and a half, one and three quarters, go! Oh, what, what happened? Did I... Did it... Did it work? Hello? Oh, there's no freaking minecart. <laughs> oh, what a rookie move. Okay, minecart. So what we're going to do is we're going to chuck a minecart in the back here. Like so. And uh, make sure this thing's off. And put one at the front. And is it going to work now? Moment of truth. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's worked. Yeah, that's definitely creating a contraption. Now, do we need to give it a push? I think we might do. Oh, no, 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 come back here. Okay, we're on it. We're on the train. And, oh my God. We got that far before needing some more juice. Well, okay, that's food for thought. So we made it roughly about 16 squares. And I'm gonna do a lap putting down some more controller rails. So I'll see you in a sec when that's complete. Okay, so I've put down a few more of these controller rails and most of the time I've put down just a few more on the same block of redstone because they seem to carry over the redstone current. So let's just jump on this train and give it another go. Oh, so just give them a bit of a push and then jump on. So here we go. No, come back. No. Oh my God, that was close. Come back, train! <laughs> oh no, it's up there. Well, is it going to keep going? Um, no, it's gotten stuck again. Oh, well, at least uh, any old thing's finished building a house. Ah, well, I guess up the skyscraper tower and uh, let's give it another go. Come on. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Uh. So here I am, ripperoni and pepperoni. Oh man, all that XP. And for what? Ugh, get my stuff back at least. 
So, okay, back to the drawing board, and I've kind of trimmed away some of the edges of the train, just to save on a little bit of weight, but also just to make sure we can get this train around the track at least one time uh, with a practice go. Uh, unfortunately, we need a bit of a kickstart, so I'm going to have to give it a bit of a push. Can I give it a push? Oh, oh no, 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 come back, come back, come back. Whew, okay. And we're on, and we're going. Okay. Well, it loses steam very, very, very quickly. I'm not quite sure why that is, but I'm going to need to put down a whole more load of rails. Now, these controller rails are a bit too expensive, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of the powered rails that I didn't use on my sugarcane farm. And yeah, I want to get around this place at least once. So I'll see you guys in another few minutes. Okay, so at long last, with a lot of tinkering, it manages to make its way all the way around and then stops just about here. Now, I don't really think we need the train to stop at stations. However, it would be good if it did. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do that, because the problem is when you get a cart to stop, it's very difficult to get it to go again, right? Let's put down one more bit of redstone and a few more boosted rails, and that should complete the circuit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, let's give it another ride. See if this works. No, come back. No, 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 come back here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I need some stairs at the back, that's for sure. Okay, so here we go. The maiden voyage. And let's turn off my UI. Oh, I could even go third person to get the maximum view. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? The entire colony as viewed from a train that goes all the way around the edge. This is freaking amazing, man. I need the Thomas Tank Engine music. If only it wasn't copyright. And as we come round here, this is where the first railway station is going to be, right on the corner next to the library. In fact, we can give the railway stations cool names, like, I don't know, like Waterloo, etc. Maybe name them after famous battles. Then the Skytrain comes along next to the Courier Tower and the ship. And there'll be another stop here. We'll bring out a little platform from the building for the second station to be at Courier Tower. Then we corner above the fort and make our journey along here. Now, I'm a bit worried that the, uh, the mystical site here, when it gets to a higher level, is going to get a bit higher and break the railway. So we'll have to be careful of that. Maybe plan for that in future. Oh, now it's a bit of a low clearance in here. Almost gave myself a new haircut. But <laughs> yeah, as we storm through the uh, the underground tunnel, we'll add some decoration in here and maybe have like an underground aquarium. I think that'd be really cool. But up here, there's plenty of headroom. And uh, yeah, there's plenty of room for this train. Now we come out from the military rise and it's back up and around to the skyscraper. Oh man, what a crazy view, what an amazing train we have on the way. Oh yeah, now we're going to hightail it off the train and leave it to continue doing laps. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. This episode we built this amazing interlinked coupled train that goes all the way around the colony. What I'll do is I'll get some stations built and decorate the tracks and the train a bit more so it looks much nicer and much neater. But for now, it's functional and it works and that's the most important thing. So next episode, you'll be able to see the fully decorated train as well as all of the buildings that we've had queued up hopefully be level four. But oh my God, it's taking our builders a long time to do that. So as always, a massive thank you to my Patreon members and my YouTube members. You guys are amazing. Hit like and subscribe, leave a comment. And until next time, thank you for watching. Take care.
Straw Fingers says, Soon. The blood price will be paid. The crystal will shatter. <laughs>